This is probably the biggest gig I've ever played, and I'm so excited I've been taking pictures already. Uh, and I was asking David over beforehand where the trailer was and where the couple of bottles of Jack Daniels were, and he seemed a bit, a bit hazy about that. But anyway, um, I don't have uh, the experience of, uh, of Africa that either uh, Sir Bob has or certainly uh, not the experience that any of our distinguished panel do. Uh, but I have, um, over the last two or three years, um, tried when, it, when I can, and I've succeeded on a couple of occasions, of telling uh, some of our BBC audiences the fantastic story of what is happening uh, uh, on, on that continent. Uh, three years ago, I, I went on an inspiring trip to uh, Nigeria to see uh, Nicholas Negroponte's One Laptop for Child project in action, uh, and compare it there with a rival project, and uh, saw extraordinary enthusiasm from children in a, in a, in a school with no power and, 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 and very little resources, uh, and children who were taking these devices and using them to teach their own parents about the digital world, really. Uh, less optimistically, I saw politicians who didn't really seem to be getting it and were not that eager to embrace the sheer creativity of the project. Uh, then 18 months ago, um, I went to uh, Kenya and Rwanda as part of a, a really ambitious project by the BBC, which again, I was quite amazed that uh, was funded in the end called Connected Africa, uh, with a colleague who's here in the audience today, uh, organizing this project, marking the arrival uh, uh, along the east coast of, of uh, a realistic broadband connection for the first time. And on that occasion, too, hugely struck by the sense of excitement and enthusiasm that you met on streets and schools, uh, on farms, about the potential uh, of this kind of technology. Um, so I remember sitting on a farm uh, outside Mombasa uh, with some farmers who uh, each had a mobile phone. Uh, they didn't have water, they didn't have power. They each had a mobile phone, and they were talking excitingly, uh, excitedly about connecting uh, to the rest of the world to sell their crops. They had this huge sense of potential out there, um, but also a massive sense of frustration as we traveled uh, about whether that was going to be realized. And, and just coming right up, to, right up to date, yesterday, I suddenly found myself in a completely unexpected way seeing the new connections that are coming up about in Africa. I was in a data center in Slough, um, an un unpromising location, but uh, a huge data center, one of those places that uh, form uh, the new world of cloud computing. And I said, what, what comes through here? And they said, oh, it's your, your Oyster card, your Oyster card data, if you travel across London. Yeah, fine. Uh, and every time you book a train ticket through Virgin, through the Virgin website, or go to comparethemarket.com, it all comes through here. Oh, and we've got this thing um, with Vodafone. It's some sort of payment system in Africa. Uh, and I eventually worked out that when a Kenyan farmer uh, transferred money uh, to somebody across the other side uh, of the country or perhaps to another country via M-Pesa, that transaction was coming through uh, this data center. So huge sense of... Um, Africa being connected to the world uh, via this technology, but also being ahead, because later this week, I'm going to an event where a similar payment system is at last coming to the UK some years after uh, it hit Africa. So um, a lot of fascinating things happening, but you're going to get far, far better insights from uh, our distinguished panel.